Hey guys, Jay Prada Performance here. Uh, I'm just going to do a little quick one on this C6 pump. I could go on for days about pumps. There's kind of a lot to them, even though they seem pretty simple, but a lot of checks you need to make. And, you know, these things are getting older too. And I'll tell you, this, this pump has become a son of a bitch to get a good one anymore. And I want to show you... If you look inside here, and I don't know if you can see it, this one's not bad, uh, but there's a little bit of a, you can feel a little line here. You can see the line, and I can feel it just a bit. So what this means is the outer gear is starting to wear into the pump. And another thing you want to look at is this outside. And, you know that has this coating on it I don't know what it's called but this black anodizing here and if you look at this pump some of the black anodize is worn off and some of it's not it's okay there's no I'm gonna feel here there's there's no ridge because the gear has a chamfer on it so if this gets worn in really bad you'll you'll feel a sharp ridge on the edge and this is nice and smooth. It's not. It's really not worn any significant amount. We got just a little bit of wear here where the outer gear is, but it's not bad. And this pump is going to be savable. Uh, but there's a lot of these checks I could go over, and, and maybe at some point I'll spend some time doing that. But what I want to show you today is the bushing. And I've just driven a new bushing in here. And I know in another video I was talking about how more often than not you have to size these. So I have a, this is just a, a pump drive, a brand new pump drive. I have a few of these, you know, well, several around because I build converters. So I know you guys won't have this, but you'll have it on the end of your converter. So you can just use, you know just put your pump body over your torque converter and just make sure you know what you're looking for here this goes in and it'll turn but it's tight it's got a lot of resistance to it I don't like that what's gonna happen is when things get hot especially a torque converter gets hot especially if you're running a trans brake or anything like that this is just going to expand and it's going to gall up in here and this bushing is going to spin inside the bore and then you're going to get debris and things and the bushing may start to sneak its way out what will happen is the seal this pump seal will get damaged and you're going to notice a oil leak and maybe a very significant oil leak inside your bell housing after running this a short amount of time and that's typically because the bushing's too tight so you got to really be mindful of that. So what I told you in another video that what you can do, you know, if you don't have lathes and milling machines and all these fancy things, uh, what you can do, if you look at this setup here, this is just a cordless drill, doesn't matter if it's cordless or not, but this is just a brake cylinder hone that you can buy at any auto parts store. And I took a piece of emery paper here, and I staple it. And uh, let me show you that. I'll take it off here. So if you just take your emery emery claw, and turn this inside out, and see that that's just that's just stapled two staples with just a regular office stapler, something you have in your you know home office, and then just turn that inside out like that. So you can just wrap this band around these lugs and, you know, whatever grit you want. Possibilities are endless there. And then you can use that in this drill motor to come in and hone this out. And what you want, you know, this, this needs to be slip in and out real easy, real free. Uh, don't worry about this being loose. I know it gets put in people's heads that everything needs to be a super tight fit. Well, you got to understand when things expand, 
You don't want them tight. Another thing you have to understand is you have tolerance between where your torque converter is and then it meets up to the flex plate. You know, these things are not going to align perfectly. So this is going to want to, you know, go side to side and, you know, meet. Because this isn't going to line up perfectly with your crankshaft. Uh, I'm sorry to tell you, even if, you know, your converter builder boasts how straight he gets the converters, which is important, but even if that's perfectly straight, there's still, you know, we have a stack up of a lot of different tolerances. I could go on about that forever, but I just want you to understand that even though this center line is supposed to line up with the center line of the crankshaft, it's not going to be perfect. So we also need a little clearance in there to kind of compensate for that as well. So, of course, you don't want to have too much clearance because then what happens is you start to build pressure behind this seal. So the way this is supposed to work is the oil, you have oil pressure inside the pump, okay, on this end of the pump. And the oil, and I want you to see this also. See this oiling groove? And notice the oiling groove doesn't go all the way through. It goes almost all the way through. So you want the oil to enter this groove. That lubricates the bushing. And it's important that it enters from this side, the pressure side of the pump. Okay? Very important. Now, you may wonder what this hole is. This hole vents back into the case. So any oil that escapes between this bushing and your pump drive, because they're not going to seal perfectly, you have clearance there. Again, we just talked about this. We need to have clearance, probably at least two thou, you know, two to four thou or so. So you have pressure. The oil is going to be coming past this. Well, if there was a lot of pressure building up behind this oil seal, it's going to pop this oil seal off. So the reason for this hole is so the pressure doesn't build up on that seal. And that's very important. So if your bushing gets super worn out, you, get a, you start building more pressure in here, and it gets harder to, for this hole to bleed it off. You, start, you, know, you actually will start building some positive pressure. But assuming that the tolerance is reasonable and you're not getting a ridiculous amount of oil passing through here, this hole is adequate to vent it out, keep the pressure off of this seal, or at least any significant pressure. And that's pretty important. So if you didn't understand how that worked, uh, that's how that works. So if you're blowing oil seals out, the answer is not Loctite or sealer. It's uh, you, you have either a worn bushing or maybe this hole is obstructed. I've even seen in some units, uh, power glides as an example, this hole is very small. And when you build a race unit and things that has a lot of pressure, uh, this, this can be an issue. So you have to open this hole up larger so you prevent this problem. So anyways, um, I hope that helps. And I just wanted to go over that briefly. And just give you some idea of what you're doing on these pumps. This, honestly, as simple as these pumps are, there's kind of a lot to them. And I could do a whole series on pumps. But that's the most important. That's what you need to know. And I hate to say it, but I've tried just about every brand of bushing I can find. There's not too many out there. There's maybe three manufacturers that I'm aware of. And, you know, sometimes I gotta, I'd say maybe more often than not, I do hone them. Sometimes I don't have to. They're never really ever too loose, but a lot of times they're too tight. So I do have to do this quite frequently, and don't be surprised if you don't have to do it. So if you don't have one already, get yourself one of these brake cylinder hones, get out the office stapler, wrap a little piece of emery cloth around it, and just, uh, Hone that out until this, this piece just slips in nice and freely and easy. I uh, don't want to have that galling up on you. cause you a lot of problems. Problems aren't going to be a loose bushing. Problems going to be a tight bushing. 
So remember that when you get obsessed about tight fitting stuff. Thing metal expands as it gets hot. So hope that helps you out and um, thanks for watching.